If you're watching this, there's a good chance you saw my first video, which was music producer rates all Dead by Daylight chase music. There is a huge difference between that video and this video. Obviously, first of all, I'm doing the menu themes, not the chase music. That's a difference, duh. But I've heard the chase musics before. You hear them in game. And I've heard a lot of them isolated before I did that tier list. I have had my menu theme music off since I downloaded Dead by Daylight. So the difference here is the chase music I've heard all before. But the menu music, I had never heard any of these at all. On purpose to prepare for this video, I did not listen to any of them. I wanted to make sure it was a full surprise. So my ratings here are a lot more first impression based. First impression based opinion might be a good thing for you or a bad thing for you. The one thing I learned from the last video is you're never going to please everybody. Speaking of, if you are going to get upset that my opinion is different than yours, then this video is not for you. For people like that, Coco Melon is down the hall and to the left. All right, let's get into it. It's nice that we don't have to listen to four layers, you know? We can just listen to, like, skip a little and then listen to, like, 30 seconds. I like the image we have to look at. That's quite nice. So, my, so here's the thing. The, this is the blueprint for every other menu theme, you know? So, I'm, I'm stuck between giving it a really high tier for being the default or giving it a C tier strictly to make it like a baseline. I think we do that. I think C tier not because it's bad at all, obviously, but because it's baseline. I didn't know Huntress had a theme. Okay. I already have goosebumps. This is number one. This is number one. I have goosebumps. This is the first one, dude. Oh, it's it, we're getting a little variety in there. Dude, the swelling, the swelling of the wind instrument in the back at the very end before it loops is so good. Oh, that's so good. And then we get a little bit of a loop here. I don't really want to skip ahead in the menu themes because the themes very purposely start small and get big. So I think it wouldn't be fair to just skip to the big part. I don't want to rate too high too fast, but also I started with Huntress, which was not the correct order. My bad. I'm going to start her at B. I think it's fucking phenomenal and I think she'll probably get pushed up to A, but who knows? The others might be phenomenal as well and she might fall right into B. I've never heard Hillbilly's menu theme, but Hillbilly has my favorite chase music in the entire game. So we'll see. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. I'm, I, I won't do that that much. Bro! The fucking dun 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 with the melody of that twang, whatever that is, with like the amp, the metal clinking sound. Oh my god! Oh, it's warp strings, is what it is. It's warp strings in the background. Is that a second melody? An octave higher? Oh, the ambience, dude. Y'all know I'm an absolute, like, like, kid in a candy store when it comes to environmental noises in, in these themes. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Also, adding the melody an octave higher almost sounds like the buzzing of a chainsaw, which is nuts. It has, like, a whiny sound to it. Okay. Oh, I need to move my face cam. Fuck. Hold on. So sorry. I was supposed to do that earlier. I for gore. A, a plus high A B. I'll put it. I'll put it A. I, that's such a crime. And I do think it might move to S. In this moment, I really did think I was going to move Billy to S. But so many of the menu themes caught me so off guard with how good they were that he ended up staying in A. All right. Nurse menu theme. This is much newer, right? This is from this year. Yeah, this is from six months ago. I didn't know if maybe she had a menu theme before she had a chase music. 
never heard this in my goddamn life. First of all, the distortion in my right ear goes absolutely dummy. Fits her way better than her chase? I agree, actually. Ooh. Oh, oh, I just got a chill down my spine. Whatever that airy, like almost groaning sound is in the background is carrying right now. Dude. The combination of strings and piano in this is phenomenal, and I actually wish they went that route with her layer four chase theme. I think this is better than her chase theme by a mile. High A for now. High A for now. I don't I don't want to be too quick to put something in S tier. I you know how oh, I I like it more than Billy's. I feel so bad for saying that because I just Billy's was fucking perfect, but you know what? We gotta be harsh. And then it stops and it goes to the default theme, which is playing now. I think it's safer for me to put them in the default tier than to try to rate just the Halloween theme playing for four seconds. So we'll toss Myers in default. Next up, Hag. All right. I'm already into this. They do not fuck around with these like they do with the chase music. Holy shit. Oh, dude. This is a newer one, remember? This one came out this year. Oh. Oh, come on, dude. The drums are not overwhelming in any way, yet they still build so like like powerfully, like they take over the theme without just like being loud, you know? It's it shifts so smoothly into them. Like the drums are not overpowering here, but they still build. Oh my God. Dude. I think my one beef, just my, and I love this. I don't think it's bad at all. I think it's phenomenal. It's very simple and there's nothing wrong with simple in the way that a lot of other menu themes are so much happening yet being unified, you know, simple is, is kind of a safe option, but I still love it. So I would put her, I would put her B below Huntress because I think it's really good, but it's, it's kind of safe. I don't think they took a risk and there's, you don't always have to take a risk, you know, B plus or a that's fair. I put her in, I put her in B. I don't like it as much as Huntress or nurse. That's fair. Yeah. A big thing here will be comparing to the other opinions we've had. Look at him. He's so cute. Oh, there it is. That's that, like, trademark doctor sound right there. Oh. Oh, okay. See, first half, I was actually snoozing. I'm not going to lie. It was, it was pretty underwhelming. But then you hit that, and then you are, you're so much better off. Jesus Christ. Oh, and the sound of the fucking... Uh charge almost oh that's good the drums are really well paced 
it's just it's just to almost accentuate the rest like to kind of add emphasis on certain parts instead of the drums just pounding the whole time like that oh and then the fucking buzz noise okay it's really well themed I would put it above Hag and below Huntress, I think. It's really well themed, but it it's not like the craziest thing I've ever heard, you know? It doesn't make me jump out of my seat. Okay, it seems like we're pretty agreeing on B, honestly. Also, yeah, once we the best the best way to vote, I guess I didn't say this and I said it last time. The best way to vote is to like wait everything out until we're done listening to it and vote, which you guys are doing. I'm just saying for, you know, maybe people that are just watching. Um yeah, best time to vote is like when I switch over to the tier list spot. But uh I would say I would put it in between because it's it's really good for him, but it's not it's not really great, you know? You know, when we look back at this, the default, the default's solid, you know? So I, yeah, I I would I would say this is a good spot. Okay, Bubba. Does Bubba even have a menu theme? I don't think he does, right? I just typed menu theme twice and I didn't type Bubba. All right. <laughs> All right, Tom. So as I should have known, Bubba didn't have a theme because he doesn't have a chase music, but I did see a concept and I wanted to give it a listen because I wanted to see how someone would differentiate two Chainsaw Killers musics. <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> those shits, those horns are fucking barking at me, bro. Wah! Dude, this is amazing! Dude! Dude! I truly think this is the best concept I've ever heard. This is phenomenal. It's a bit dainty for Bubba. <laughs> it's almost too well composed to be Bubba's chase. But it's fucking phenomenal. Oh my goodness. That was amazing. Um, I, I, unfortunately, he is default. So S plus. I would put that in A and it would definitely teeter on S. Freddy just laughs a little before default. <laughs> Bro, Kenny's looking good, man. Look at him. It's so empty. It's so empty. This is bad. Like this is I'm shocked. His chase music's good. This is this is I think this is legitimately bad. Okay, I like the little dun 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 in the background. Also, this is not what Kate looks like. <laughs> it's it's underwhelming for a character so bold. I agree. Literally turns your screen into a fucking LSD nightmare. And his mu his theme music is dun, dun, dun. He's not a minimal killer, you know? Sort of like circus music from afar. It seems like the start of a circus track. And that's fair. They, they didn't really DVD-ify it, I guess. Is that is that what I was reaching for this whole time? They They took clown music and did that. But they didn't really DBDify or killerify the clown music. It's missing personality. I guess that's what it would be. It's missing personality. I would say the default is better. Yeah, you guys are saying D. Mm. It's definitely a low C, and it might move to D depending on other Cs that go in. You know, we'll we'll see. Okay, I've never heard this. I love the drums. Again, they're not overwhelming, but they're definitely emphasizing. Ooh, that little harmony right there went a little stupid, if you will. Oh, they picked
picked it up in the second half. Okay, you know what? I This is the first one where I just don't know. Usually it's right around a one minute loop. The second half is... Is, is really good. The first half is not really good. So where does it even out to? C tier? B minus? I would have to give it a C tier because again, if we go back to the default, I would prefer the default. The clowns is worse. Clowns is worse. So I would put it here and I am going to drop clown to D tier. Does this look good? The clowns is definitely worse, but default is definitely better than spirits. It's a good start. It's much more eventful of a start. The drums are fun. The ambience doesn't really, I'm not gonna lie, like the ambient crash right there doesn't really correspond with the rest of the theme. The guitar is amazing, but can the guitar really carry the entire theme like that? I, I guess it's fair to say a melody can carry an entire theme, but does it? It sounds like Twilight and not in a good way. This is the theme of a killer Bella. It sounds generic. My beef with the original Legion theme is that they were quite underwhelming. It was a great, it was a great ensemble of sounds, but it was pretty underwhelming. This suffers the same problem. It's underwhelming. Would I be wrong to say it's underwhelming for a, a themed killer that revolves around four different people? If it were truly my say, I would put it C tier, but it's not. Because I care about what people think about me on the internet. So we'll put it B. <laughs> Plague has menu music? But she doesn't have a chase theme. That makes no sense. Okay. Sorry. I'm learning today. I'm learning a lot today. Okay. Plague. God, she's so baby girl. Anyways. I would say we're on theme so far. I like the subtle off tuneness of it. It doesn't feel as factory made. Hmm. It's really minimal, but it's really on theme. What matters more to me? Being on theme or, or being really safe? But the thought of her walking at me with this playing is truly scary. <laughs> it's minimal for a killer who spits on you and runs away. It sounds on theme. <laughs> That's such a fucking like perfect message to describe it. Oh my goodness. She just blah and then walks away. It feels very slow burning, but it, you know what? That's... The infection, like that's how our shit works. It's a slow burn. This is a perfect example of how minimal can be good. Because I definitely think it's dead on theme. I don't think it could be more on theme. Because I think it's a better example of how minimal is good than, than hag, I think it goes above hag in B tier. And I'm seeing a lot of you say B tier as well, so I think I'm chilling on that. Oh, the fucking like almost argument of the brass. Like there's no cohesion to it. I love that. That is so good. Oh, I love that. I love when they do things that make it feel like actual like natural music and not like someone on a MIDI keyboard. It doesn't feel like I was made in FL Studio in five minutes. You know, it feels like it was like truly handcrafted. And it's so haunting. It is so haunting. And that grumbling. You know I love a grumble. And that part just feels like the old Scream movies.
I love this. I really do love this. That sounds like every A24 film I've ever heard in my entire life. In a good way, in a good way. And then it, there's the loop right there, right on the one minute mark. I fucking love that. I know I didn't have like a visceral reaction like I usually do. It's very lulling almost. It's, but it's very haunting. It, it's, it's creepy. Like the, that's the only word I have for it is creepy. Definitely A tier for sure. And I can't believe I'm saying this. I would put it above Billy. And I, I don't think they cater to the mask here. I think they cater to the franchise in a good way. For people that don't know, DVD doesn't have rights to Scream. They have rights to use the mask, and they wrote their own story around it. It has nothing to do with Scream. But that theme music feels like Scream in a good way. So I love that. I think that is damn near perfectly executed. Uh, maybe I'm being stingy with the S tiers. I don't know, but that is fucking phenomenal. Steve looks chopped in this, in this screenshot. But anyways. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay. Come on! That little sub melody of dun 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 with the 80s style synth in like, it's almost like stabby. Is that the term synth stab? That's a term, right? I love it. I fucking love it. And the way the melody doesn't feel as horror aspect. And again, that's what I liked about their chase music as well. They didn't try too hard to make it feel horrifying. They just made it sci-fi, you know? They didn't try to make Demo the scariest character you've ever heard or seen. They just made Demo Demo, and I love that. Bro. Dude, come on. And the, the like, the almost, like, obsessive reverb and delay, giving very much 80s. I love this, dude. Oh my god. I love this. The more I hear it, the more I love it. We're only 27 seconds in. Dude, oh my god. I have so many things to say. Uh, top 10 lo-fi hip-hop beats to get shredded by. <laughs> Dude, and then the fucking, that's like a callback to the default. The guitar grumble in the bottom. The, the fucking Stranger Things does not use electric guitars, you know, in their music. Especially like highly distorted electric guitars. Oh, I love this. This is, this is the easiest S I have ever given ever. That is like, there is no doubt in my mind I'm slapping that in S. I'm seeing a lot of A's and some S's, so I don't feel too far off. <clears throat> Never heard this. <laughs> They're not fucking around! Holy fuck, is that really what happens when you click Oni in game? You just get berated with a drum? Holy fuck, they- Dude, I know I've stopped three times already. Four seconds in! We have already heard Oni's ability, like, grunt yell thing. We've heard, like, the, like, the shinging of a knife, like, the, the, the shing noise. An aggressive drum. In four seconds. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, dude. Dude! Oh! Hold on, we're gonna get to those strings in a second. The way they leave space just to emphasize the crash of it all, like where everything halts for a second and then everything hits at once, none of the other themes have had that so far. Oh! 
There's so much variety, yet it's all on theme. This is what I mean by taking chances. It's not one melody, one drum, and then some kind of ambience that ties into the character. It's like seven things going on right now. This is phenomenal. Oh my god, the little run there? Oh, that's so silly! Oh my god! Oh, dude, that's so good! <laughs> dude, oh my god! We have three more seconds to loop, so let's let's give the three seconds a rip. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Not only is it S, it's actually S above demo. I can't believe that because I was I was hesitant to give an S. I gave one to demo, and this is an S above demo. Not only is this perfect, this is I will be shocked if I hear anything better than that through the rest of these. I will be baffled if I hear anything better than that. Holy fuck. Like I'm out of breath from that one. I, I am, I, there are chills running down my spine. All right, Slinger. Wait, no, this is Chase. Oops. I will say, I can't lie. Let me just be so honest. I'm getting really sick of this melody. I understand the melody is incorporated into every theme because it's the DVD melody. But I'm getting so sick, so sick of hearing boom, 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 over and over. But I get it. It's the menu themes. I'm doing this to myself. All right, here we go. Oh, I love that. Ooh. A lot of a lot of creaking, a lot of a lot of out of tune instruments, a lot of metal noises, you know, kind of everything you'd expect from a guy with a gun with a metal chain. I love that low end pluck. That's sick. I think my beef here, I don't love it. And I, I think my beef here is when you look at Slinger, you're not, you're not looking at a horror icon. You're looking at a fucking cowboy, you know? And I feel like this menu is trying too hard to make him scarier than he is. So I wouldn't put it under bad, like I said with Clown. I'm kind of missing something. Wait, there's 10 more seconds. It doesn't, I agree, it doesn't fit him. Like, all this horror ambience doesn't work with a character that's not inherently scary. You don't see a Death Slinger and go, Oh my god, oh my god, it's a Death Slinger. Holy shit, I'm terrified. It doesn't match Death Slinger. It's terribly off theme. It's way too slow, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's bad. Very, very incredibly low C. C, D, C, D. Okay, so yeah, I guess I'd be safe on this pick. I do think Clowns is worse. Clowns feels lazier than it does off theme. Slingers just feels off theme to me. So I would put it, I would put it at low C. Might move it down to D depending on how many more C's we get. But for now, I'm vibing with that. It is weird how overall the distribution of each tier is a lot more consistent than the chase theme. So I guess overall, I like the upbeatness of the chase more than I like the menu themes. But I understand that these aren't chase themes. They don't have to be upbeat. All right. If you've played the game and you hear something that calls back to the game, please tell me. Is it, I love that crackling noise. It almost sounds like a fire.
I... That transition was fucking seamless. Damn. There's that, there's that like clinging sound that's in his uh, chase music that I love so much. So that, you know, I love that. Bro, does this not feel like three menu themes in one? I'm gonna assume that second melody is the Silent Hill theme. It, it feels like it is the way they keep going back and forth between the that whatever that melody is and the DVD melody, and then loops right back in. Okay. Oh, I, I'm kind of at a loss here. Um, the attention to detail is clearly higher on that one. As I've said before, the, the, um, the license killers sometimes have a much higher attention to detail. I love, I love all the crashing and the almost like wreckage noises going all the way through it as a menu theme. Cause that's what we're rating here. Not just as a song as a whole. I'm feeling low A. I'm feeling low A. But again, this is coming from someone that's never played Silent Hill. So this could be wrong because there's probably details in it that tie into Silent Hill that I don't know. So I'm going to go low A because I do think it's better than Huntress's. There's just a clear, more, like higher attention to detail on Pyramid Heads. But I do like Billy's more and, and that's saying something. I almost feel guilty about that. Okay, next, Blight. Oh, Mr. Blight, how I love you, Talbot Grimes. I love, I love the spaciness of this. Do you know like the difference between like big room reverb and small room reverb? This is just giant room reverb. And it, it, it feels like an orchestra is playing this in like a music hall. It feels incredibly elegant and it feels very big. And it also feels super emotional compared to the other menu themes. I love this. I fucking love this. Because this is so different than... You couldn't name one theme that sounds like this. You could maybe call to a theme that has a violin in it, but nothing feels so, like, sad, like, emotional, like this does. I love this. I, I love this. I, I apps, dude, I want to S tier it because it is nothing. And I mean nothing like any of the other themes. It's sad. I'll put them at, I'll put them at top of a for now. I actually like could probably listen to that for like two hours in terms of complete personal opinion and my style of like what I enjoy listening to. I think blights is my favorite so far. This was the chapter I started DVD, by the way, it was twins. Already incredibly on theme for the French icky stinky killer. I love the scattered drums. I love the, that like almost howl noise. The bells are a nice touch. Hmm. It's a music box. That's what it is. It's a music box. Hold on. Hold on. Victor's not a baby. They have established that a hundred times. So what does a, like a, the childish feel of a music box bring to them? 
Victor is like 30 years old. Their childhood? Is that what I'm supposed to be getting from this? Maybe I'm overlooking, but Victor's not a baby. So why is there a music box playing? Victor is the same age as Charlotte. Oh, I love... Oh, oh. I love how natural the music box sound. It doesn't... All the notes don't hit at the same time. There's like a little bit of variance as to like... You know, music boxes play like this and then each... Each... Uh, tine shrums and instead of all playing at once they kind of trickle off and I like that that's a that's a beautiful touch yeah that's fucking ooh. and that fucking wow noise sounds like Victor leaving Charlotte so I like it I think I really like it I'm gonna I'm gonna rock with oh god bottom of A and top of B are two very different I'm gonna go bottom of A I, I really like it. I really like it. I'm a little confused by the music box. Here's what I think. I think they designed Victor to be a baby and then remembered game laws of how you can't murder kids in games. Um, and so then they said, oh no, they're actually the same age. Victor being 30 years old makes the music box make not so much sense. But maybe it is a callback to their whole childhood thing. So I still love it. Bottom of A. This is, it's much better than his chase theme, but it's still lacking. And there's, there's the drums. Yeah, I've heard this part. This is, this is, oh, this is borderline cringe, is it not? How are you an A-list celebrity artist and your menu theme is, ugh. It is better than his chase theme. I do not like his chase theme at all. I like the dun, 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 dun part of it, like the grumble part, but the rest is not so good. Overall, it's not, it's not a bad theme, but it doesn't fit him. Bro, what is this? Destroy Lonely? That's that's not good. That's worse than clowns. And listen, I'm sorry if you're going to be one of those people that goes, but his lore, he's actually sampling the people die. Okay, let's say we did bring the lore into this. Does that make it sound good? <laughs> Does that make it sound good? No, it doesn't. <laughs> if you are an A-list celebrity pop star, your music would not sound like this. Therefore, it is not on theme. I do not care about the fact that he's sampling screaming people. I'm sorry. In terms of production, do you really want to tell me that these drums have depth to them? Da 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 da. Go crazy, man. It's crazy because if we were to play Oni right now, it would truly show how D tier Trickster is. Oni should be the A-list pop star here, okay? Let's get Oni a mic. Let's get Oni an SM7B real quick. <clears throat> Three, two, one. I like the glass breaking. I like the siren noise. Is the siren noise like... <gasps> you know what that is? Okay, so you know in the game how when he hits tier two, it goes... Dun. That's that noise, but it's reversed in this to make like a swell, like a build. Oh my god, that's sick! It's reversed! Oh, that's sick. That's awesome. Nice little attention to detail. I like this. The production quality is just there, and it suits Nemi. It almost feels like we're missing something, but we're not. It's right on theme, you know? Yes, pain. It feels very cinematic. Yeah. And another thing about it, they even Michael F. April himself said that the, the Resident Evil chapters are supposed to feel more like boss battles in their music than horror characters. Does this not give a like perfect synopsis of what boss battle music sounds like? Mm -hmm. 
This is another case of what I said with Demo. They didn't try too hard to make it scarier than it is. They kept exactly the theme of what the killer is in their game or show or whatever, and they just translated it instead of trying to horrify it. I'm glad they didn't try harder to make his menu theme scary. He's supposed to feel like a boss. It's somewhere in A, I just don't know where. Strictly for like production value, it goes past Ghostface, but I like Ghostface's more personally because I'm just a I'm a I'm a bitch for horror, you know. And Ghostface is definitely scarier. I love horror, so just by personal opinion, Ghostface wins that. But by production value, Nemi wins. Nemi would be an S tier if, if I was going off only production value. Um, but yeah, Nemi's definitely an A, a, a solid A. Is it muted? Oh shit. That's mad embarrassing. Ready, set, go. I like the, the vocals in the back, actually. You don't hear, I don't think I've heard any like true vocals in any of them, right? If you've seen the original Hellraiser, first of all, kind of mid-movie, but this theme is directly what it's supposed to sound like. Oh, the slide of the brass. And then it loops back into like a calmer, you know what? There's nothing, there's nothing groundbreaking about this, but... It's exactly what it's supposed to be, you know? It definitely does not match the newer age Hellraiser, like the remake, but it definitely matches the original. It almost has a classic feel to it, and I don't mean like classical music, I mean like a classic film. Uh, okay. So again, there's nothing insane about it. So it's not going to go in a, but it's right on theme with how it's supposed to sound. I definitely think it's better than plague. I doctor second half is better. I would put it above doctor and below huntress. I don't think it's C tier. I truly don't. When I think of legions and spirits and slingers, I don't think pinheads goes down there at all. Better than plague. <sighs> Fuck. Let me pull it up. Fuck. Let's com let's compare cuz you're right maybe it's not and maybe plague comes up higher Do you guys really think plagues is better? That's not like a rhetorical question. I don't think plagues is better at all. I guess we have an insane difference of opinion here. That, that only reinstated my, my original belief. Oh, oh, come on. Okay. I know I'm eating right now, so I'm not giving as much vocal feedback. That is a seamless transition of like, um, of of sounds, I guess is the easiest way to say it. Oh, come on. Oh, I feel so dainty listening to this part. I low-key get Mary Poppins from that part. I'm gonna keep it a buck. The fucking I kind of feel like I should be floating from an umbrella. I ain't talking Fortnite. Does it not sound like a Tom and Jerry episode? Fuck, I might have just ruined it for me, but it doesn't feel scary. It, it's good. Whoa, let me say that. It does, it is good. Okay, yo, I hear birds. It's like her, it's, it's like artist from Dead by Daylight.
Actually, big fan of that. I was gonna say slapping birds into the bird killer is super lazy, but that was actually a pretty nice transition there. It sounds like a flock, almost a flock going over your head in a way. That makes sense. Incredibly on theme, very daunting. That's, the, that's like the big word I get from her. My biggest fault with Deslinger's music is they lost the plot of how scary he comes off. He does not come off scary, but his menu theme is terrifying. Artists, they did not make that mistake. They didn't try to over-terrify her music. Definitely low A, but how low into A? Because, like, when I think Huntress, I think Artists is so much better than Huntress is. But when I think Twins, I think it's right there with it. And I think Pyramid Heads is better. Strictly because I'm still annoyed they use the music box when Victor is a grown-ass man. Uh, I think it's better than, than Twins. Oh, you're right. Maybe it doesn't feel off-theme. Never mind. Shut up. I'm excited for this one because... The, her chase music caught me so off guard. <laughs> we have an emotional survivor main in chat right now. I don't care. She's F. I can think about it later while being slugged. <laughs> emotional survivor main. <laughs> Oh, see, that's nice. That's kind of a saving grace for me. So far, I'm a little underwhelmed. I love that. Hmm. It's really slow. Holy fuck. Again, it's a menu theme, so that's fair. And it's very easy to listen to. In comparison to her chase, which like caught me so off guard with how good it was isolated, this is really underwhelming. It's so simple. And maybe that's what they were going for, but it's too simple. C tier, D tier, C tier. C tier, C tier, D tier. Too iconic for it to be so bland. That's actually a really good way to put it. And again, especially since her chase music shocked me with how good it was. So I would say I'm incredibly underwhelmed. I'm going to give, I'm going to give Unreal the benefit of the doubt here and put it above the default. And again, you could argue menu themes aren't supposed to be all that. Menu themes are blah, 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 blah. Okay, then why are all these other menu themes fucking phenomenal? Like, outstanding would be the word I would use. That's not, an, that's not a valid excuse for Onryos to be so bland, you know? I don't even think I've heard this, and I main dredge for a fucking year. Oh, this is kind of spooky dooky. Hold on. I'm fucking with this. Oh, I love that. Oh my god, that actually could save this theme music because it's very bland otherwise. But that little plucking noise, oh. It literally sounds like every A24 film, and I love it. I will say, a little underwhelming. I'm, like, this, this is good, but it does not blow my mind. It's underwhelming in a good way. That's fair, like like a like a sinking feeling. It's I wouldn't say it's boring. I wouldn't say any of these are boring. I would go B, bottom of B. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think I think you're right. Because yeah, because when I look at Onrio and I look at Dredge, I think Dredge is definitely a whole tier better. Dredge didn't hit. I know, isn't that a bummer? Cause his chase is really good. These menu themes are getting are getting like worse. Alright, I know this one has an insane production value. And again, it's supposed to feel like a boss battle, not a horror character. Wait, does Wesker really have no upper lip in game? That shit is up. That's a piece of paper folded, folded on in half. Uh, like, okay, this is gonna, this is the outlier of the newer menu themes being boring because of course Wesker's theme is phenomenal. 
I've never heard this though. Yeah, dude. Okay, my problem here. I can't tell. I can't tell, but I'm not getting a whole lot of individuality between these two. This is Nemis. And then Wesker's. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. Nemis is definitely a lot harsher and aggressive, and Wesker's is a lot more composed. You know, like this guy would rip you to shreds and this guy would premeditate your murder. You know, that's how the menu, that's how the themes sound. Actually, pulling that up made me like Nemi's more. I, I actually, I'm going to move Nemi up and put Wesker in Nemi's old spot. I think Nemi's is better for sure, but I think... Hearing Wesker's made me appreciate Nemi's more. So definitely move Nemi up past Ghostface, even though I really do like the creepiness of Ghostface's. And then put Wesker where Nemi was, because the original opinion I had on Nemi, I now have on Wesker. And I have a more positive look on Nemi's now. Does that make sense? All right, Knight! I think his chase music was very... The fourth layer was really underwhelming, so I'm hoping the menu theme's not, not the same way. What the fuck is that? Whoa. Hold on. Hold on. What is that? I'm like not even thinking about theming right now. I love the way this sounds just from an enjoyment perspective. Oh my God. Dude. Dude, I fucking love this. Now, do they do something else with it? Okay, they're transitioning away. If it, this is really well done. I I can't believe I've never heard this. my one beef so far I am missing we're missing variety okay oh I love that oh my god I love that little back a little bit oh whatever stringed instrument that is is insanely good. Oh, I love that. Dude, I love this. My one criticism is it's lacking variety. Damn, why didn't they take that route with his chase music? That is so good. I gotta put it here. Oh, but it's lacking variety and artists had really good transition. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I would put it above artists, but artists had really solid transitions, a lot more environmental sounds, and Knights was severely lacking in variety. However, when it comes to personal taste, Knights would be past pretty much everyone here. The chess player, Skull Merchant. All right. Let's let's give the menu theme a rip. All right, there's there's the call to her her chase music. So far so good. I don't have any anything to say so far. I love the grumble. Wait, whoa, 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 that's the same, that's clown's chase music. That is so lazy. Oh 
Oh my god! You can't find a similar sound without recycling your chase musics? For people that don't know, Skull Merchant also reused assets from a failed game from Behavior. So not only did we recycle assets for the character, we recycled sounds from other chase musics into a menu theme. That is so lazy. It's very indicative of this entire chapter release. But I can't lie, I don't love I don't hate this. I don't hate the menu theme. That's just incredibly lazy. They didn't even re-pitch it. They just reused the same sound. Sorry, I'm done. Oh, I like that. I like that. I can't lie, I like this. Okay. <laughs> it's one thing to have variety. It's another thing to have no cohesion. Oh. That sounds like when you pop a recall potion in, um, or no, a, uh, a magic mirror in, uh, my fucking Terraria. Okay, it's it's looped so far. It's a case of ketchup and ice cream again. We have some good things going, but throwing them all in a bowl does not make it taste good. I liked it. I liked the theme. It felt a little messy. Um, it felt like it it was completely lacking co coherence of any kind. Um, the sounds were fun, but they didn't make sense together, and they didn't really give me any tie to her character. But again, the reuse of that sound in Clown's Chase music is incredibly bothersome to me. Probably, probably too bothersome. Like, I'm probably, like, caring too much about it. Bottom of C. Bottom of C. Um, because there were good ideas there that weren't executed well. I, I remember hearing the old Chase music. I gave suggestions, and then they changed the Chase music into my suggestions. I'm not saying I had something to do with it. I'm just saying it feels really good that a fucking entire production team had the same ideas I did. So, you know, it feels good, man. All right, last one. I love, I will always love the low end grumble there. Like the do 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 do. I love. Oh, I love that. If you're wearing headphones specifically in your right ear, that dun dun dun, and then it just echoes out. I love that shit. It almost sounds like a laugh, like a very like three octaves down laugh. I don't really have any like crazy things to say about it. It's not like mind bogglingly different, you know, like it's, it's not screaming uniqueness compared to the other menu themes, but I will say it does match his theme and it definitely is better than his chase music or his old chase music. Cause that's what I tier listed, <sighs> but where would I put it almost? I'm sorry. It sounds like a better version of tricksters. It's nothing insane. I, I would I would say I would say it goes above dredge because it, it does kind of fall under that like nothing crazy, but I think it does it a little better than dredge, which is funny because dredge is chase music, solo singularity is chase music. So it's it's funny how the menu theme can be S tier and the, the chase theme can be like F tier or the other way around. I would say the ones that have shocked me the most were obviously Oni, Blight. And Knight, funny enough. Where's Knight? Here's Knight. So the top of S, A, and B shocked me the most for not having heard pretty much any of these. These three shocked me with how good they were. Good for very different reasons. I almost think Blight belongs in S here. 
Yeah. Blight has almost an aspect of heartbreak to it or like sadness to it that no other killer has. I fucking love it. I gotta put him in ass. I'll put him below demo, obviously, but I think Blight's his ass. And I, I think Nemi's goes above Nurse's. I'm, I'm looking down my list and, and thinking back now. I almost feel bad for putting Pyramid Head that low because I didn't play the game. With Resident Evil and Hellraiser and The Ring, I'm tapped in, you know? I'll, I'll understand where the references are. With Silent Hill, I'm not. Like, I, I, if there's something there that I'm missing, it's gonna go right over my head. Putting Knight above Huntress might be a bit much considering... Knights just lacked variety. I love the sound, but Knights lacked variety. F for that fuck... F for fuck that whack ass track. Do we think Trickster is that much worse than Clowns that it belongs in its own tier? Yes or no? Yes, 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 yes. Resounding. Yeah, there's not a single no. I think Slingers was worse than Trickster's. I don't think Slingers was bad. I think it was off theme. Slingers tried way too hard to be scary, but Slingers not a scary character. I don't think Slingers itself was bad though. So the resounding unanimous yeses, I will slap Trickster and F tier. I agree, but hey, I'm at the mercy of the internet, you know? Nurse being top five is so weird. And I know why I put Nurse there. Yeah, exactly, Constantine. She was rated early. That's why she's up there. But it's good. It is good. I, w I would put it in A tier regardless, but... Yeah, I mean, this isn't even... I don't even think that's a competition. And it's definitely not better than Wesker's. And it's definitely not better than Billy's or Pyramid Head's. She was the first one to go in A, so I think I just started stacking A tiers. Oh, now I want to move Billy up. Oh, Nori! But I can't move him up past Wesker. That would be a crime against humanity, if I'm honest. Because Wesker's and Nemi's are perfectly themed. I would say, I would say Billy belongs where he is right now. I would say Nurse, definitely. I don't know what I was smoking. Um, I just slapped her in A tier and left her there, I guess. Dredge and Singularity and Hag all feel a, a touch underwhelming. Hag is getting robbed a little bit here because I don't think she fits here. I think she should go a little bit up, but I don't think I could switch any of these around if I'm honest. <sighs> Dude, seeing Legion in here, I'm just having flashbacks, but Slingers was just really off theme. Spirits was lacking. Legion, it's a great idea with a very underwhelming execution. Same as his chase music, which was my beef with his chase music. I think all four of these... Okay, no. I think these two suffer from the, a case of being underwhelming. These two suffer from a case of being off theme or incoherent. Clowns is just boring. Tricksters is just bad. Regardless of lore or not. Tricksters is just bad. Yeah, no, I'm actually really content with this list. I think I'm more content with this one than the um, chase music one. That is going to be a bitch to edit because I kept moving back and forth so much. How about we just restart? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs>